Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm very pleased to present on behalf of the subgroup on the Russian OCB uh, the work plan and the activities that uh, we plan for this year. Uh, so WASH is uh, well recognized as a long-term um, solution uh, and OCV will present uh, a direct access to communities and uh, an advantage on an Im immediate response. And uh, in this group, uh, we discussed uh, how to, to link uh, both and uh, to implement uh, activities, uh, uh, WASH activities during the OCV campaigns and uh, to open door for long-term uh, WASH activities. So I'm speaking on behalf of this uh, subgroup. I cannot go to the next slide. Uh, sorry. Okay, now it works. Uh, so I will give uh, some uh, background, then I will uh, show the objective uh, and a small presentation of the composition of the subgroup. Then I will present the activities that we decided uh, to implement during this, uh, the, this year, uh, and we will have some time for discussion, uh, where I also uh, be really happy to have some feedback uh, of the countries here who are uh, submitting um, preventive request and uh, implementing uh, uh, vaccination. So all my presentations start by this slide. <laughs> uh, so this slide represents the use of the vaccine since the creation of the stockpile since 2013. <laughs> Uh, the blue represents uh, the preventive, uh, the preventive uh, campaigns, the, the number of doses of the preventive uh, campaigns, and orange the, the reactive campaigns. So there are two mechanisms, two mechanisms in OCV, uh, one for emergency campaigns and another one for preventive. And uh, since the creation of the stockpile, the use of the, the vaccine uh, kept uh, increasing, and. Uh, uh, last year, we have uh, shipped around uh, 27 uh, million doses for preventive and emergency campaigns. For this year also, we had already implemented preventive and, um, and reactive uh, campaigns. Uh, and we already have uh, planned campaigns that will be, that doses that are approved for planned campaigns in uh, Nigeria, Ethiopia, and uh, South Sudan. And there will be uh, also emergency uh, re request uh, for, for campaigns. So why to integrate uh, WASH uh, and OCV? So OCV is, uh, is described as an entry point and a catalyst for WASH and community engagement. Most of the campaign are uh, done door to door. It's uh, two rounds, so it really offers an opportunity uh, to go to have a direct access to the to the community. Uh, it's a complementary action uh, uh, that uh, make bridge between emergency response and medium to long-term interventions in endemic and epidemic uh, settings. And it's an opportunity to advocate for WASH investment in cholera hotspots. So a desk review was uh, done, uh, a review for 2013 to 2019 uh, on the implementation of WASH activities during the, the OCV campaigns. Uh, the OCV um, uh, working group and the WASH working group conducted this, uh, this uh, review. And uh, by reviewing uh, all the reports of the campaigns, uh, the requests, uh, the NCP plans, and what was uh, the, the, the key findings were that we found the limited uh, reporting of fresh progress in the OCV requests. Uh, some country highlighted link linkage between WASH and OCV as part of the campaign, but it's, uh, it was really few. Uh, there was really a lack of um, report on the WASH activities that are implemented during the campaigns. Uh, most countries had uh, detailed uh, WASH plans. When they submit requests, uh, we can see uh, some activities that are presented. 
uh, but then there's a really a lack of uh, approach across countries for the, the planning, the implementation, and the monitoring and integration of uh, the WASH and OCB. And still uh, today, we, we are implementing campaigns, preventive, reactive, but it's still difficult re to really monitor uh, what kind of uh, WASH activities are implemented and uh, what discussions are um, are um, following up uh, are followed after the, the campaigns in terms uh, of long term uh, wash activities. So at that time, the action that were uh, defined were to increase the level of detail wash in the OCV request, uh, to conduct joint uh, systematic reviews uh, of level of wash and OCV integration after each campaign. Uh, and as of today, this is something that uh, we still, uh, there is still, um, we're still not uh, do doing that. To have regular reporting of progress of status of detailed wash plans. To have wash partners engaged to conduct mapping of wash interventions in cholera hotspots. To have baselines for wash access and conditions in whole cholera hotspot and to capitalize a momentum created by OCV campaigns to advocate for WASH investment and in cholera hotspot. Since then, uh, a lot of progress uh, was done in terms of um, coverage survey. Uh, now, systematically, in all coverage survey, there is a WASH um, part where uh, we ask the access of water. There will be presentation um, during this, uh, this webinar on that. So on that, uh, we have more data in the coverage survey. Uh, however, in the reports of the campaigns, there is still no information on any activity uh, that were done. Uh, and we made also some progress uh, in uh, piloting uh, some uh, short-term activities uh, during uh, an emergency campaign. I will uh, give more detail uh, further in my presentation. So the subgroup uh, was uh, created uh, and we, in this uh, subgroup, uh, so this is the composition, so we come from uh, different uh, uh, areas in terms of WASH and uh, OCV. And the objective is to discuss and develop guidance and recommendations uh, on how countries can implement uh, short and long-term uh, WASH activities. So it led to uh, a lot of discussions. Uh, we, we know that OCV is an... Uh, um, uh, is a planned when we have a planned campaigns uh, it's something that is uh, in terms of timeline is different than long term wash activities and we had a lot of discussion on the how to to implement both uh, without uh, slowing the, the 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 implementation of uh, of the campaigns So in terms of activities, we had defined uh, three areas where we, we will work. Uh, the first one is in terms of uh, emergency campaign. Uh, there was a, a pilot of a guidance that was uh, 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 implemented in Ethiopia uh, in order to implement and to have uh, uh, short-term activities, uh, a, short, a package of uh, WASH activities to be implemented during emergency campaigns. I will give uh, more detail on that. This was implemented in, uh, in the Tigray. Uh, it was uh, presented many times before. Uh, and we want to uh, re redo a pilot. The second uh, concerns the preventive campaigns. Uh, the subgroup will work on um, what kind of information should be included in the request uh, and what kind of activities could be uh, implemented and how to follow better those uh, WASH activities in the reports and how to have better data uh, on that. The last uh, area is uh, to conduct desk review, desk review on the, 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 the implementation of those uh, those WASH activities and the desk review and collection of data of all the results uh, of the coverage surveys uh, that we have. 
So in terms of emergency campaigns, uh, this was presented uh, many times uh, during uh, WASH uh, working group meetings and OCV working group meetings. It's the mini minimum package of WASH and OCV uh, implementation that we want to implement during emergency campaigns. A guidance was uh, developed and was de uh, the, it was piloted in... Um, in uh, Tigray, so there were many presentations. I will not give uh, too much detail, but uh, just to show the, some um, findings that we, challenges that uh, came after this uh, piloting. So we were talking that there would be a need of uh, prepositioning of stockpile of uh, wash items. Uh, to be have more anticipation in terms of identification of countries where we could implement uh, that and uh, to have a smaller uh, population around uh, 100,000 to pilot it somewhere uh, in a specific uh, district. Uh, to have uh, funds uh, available on time and not at the time of the, the outbreak. Uh, to have a discussion on the type of uh, wash items uh, and to have dedica dedicated uh, staff uh, for that. So the sub team, the sub uh, group uh, will work first. So I here is described all the activities. It's still general, but uh, we still plan to have meetings on defining more activities uh, and how uh, we will uh, better implement this pilot this year. So first of all, we will uh, have meetings on reviewing uh, the implementation of the Tigray, in the Tigray region, what worked, what didn't work, and uh, to, to, to really document uh, that. Uh, to develop a concept not uh, just for one uh, area, a smaller uh, population, uh, to have a discussion and to approach um, how to get uh, some, uh, some funds uh, dedicated just for this uh, pilot on this small uh, population. Uh, we will try uh, this year to have some procurement and trying to prepositioning items, uh, wash items that will be easy uh, to deploy in case um, uh, of we can de uh, implement uh, that. We were thinking of uh, starting to recruit a consultant for the impl implementation uh, and to, to do a report for the, the to document uh, this pilot. So uh, it's really to redo this pilot in a smaller population and really to be prepared um, better for this pilot. And we hope to, to present that uh, at the next uh, uh, OCV or WASH uh, working group. <laughs> For the preventive campaigns, um, as of today, uh, so here I present uh, what is required uh, in terms of when, when uh, countries want to submit uh, ICG requests or emergency requests and preventive requests. So in the emergency request, we ask uh, the question in terms of WASH are more related to risk factors and capacity to control the outbreak, where in the wash in the preventive uh, request, uh, some questions are first asked in terms of uh, what is the proportion of the population with um, access to improved water, questions related to uh, improved uh, sanitation facilities, and uh, what are the, the activities, all the, uh, there, there should be in the request a, a, a plan a real description of all the activities that will be uh, implementing uh, during and after the, the campaign. So um, as of today, we, we have those, uh, those information. We receive requests with the plan, uh, with some detail of WASH activities that will be planned. But uh, most of the time, as I said, we, after the campaigns happen, um, we do not follow our uh, uh, the, the, all the WASH activities that are implemented. So the activities that we plan to do are uh, first to review those, uh, those criteria, those WASH uh, criteria, 
Uh, I can give an example of uh, when I was in the field in Yemen, for example, where we had to collect uh, all those informations in WASH in order to submit a preventive request. Uh, and it was uh, difficult to gather those data. Most of the time, they are not available at um, a district level, but only at regional level. And we were uh, wondering at that time uh, how to, is it really, um, uh, re, uh, should we still ask, what kind of data should we ask uh, in the request? In the OCV working group, there is a, a sub-team that is working on, the, on that, on the, the, the preventive request and the criteria for the preventive request. So uh, we will have a discussion with this, uh, this, the, this sub-team of the, the OCV. We plan to have uh, develop a guidance on how to report the WASH activities in the report of the OCV campaigns. Uh, so that in order to better collect all those information for desk review that we want to implement um, in the future. And uh, then uh, is to have review of the WASH coverage survey that, uh, that are uh, implemented. So the last area where we will work is uh, to conduct desk reviews this year. Uh, we will probably, we are thinking of hiring maybe a consultant who will go through all the, the reports uh, and uh, conduct another um, desk review in terms of um, uh, WASH activities that are implemented, but also to collect, as I said, all the, the results of the coverage surveys uh, and uh, and the wash um, wash uh, data that uh, that are there. Thanks for your attention.